Active practice versus passive learning. These are two fundamental topics that I want to break down today because when we're in our journey of life um, and having the life that we want to have or being the person we want to be, the distinction is in the habits that we're also doing in life that will make us or are the evidence of who we are. And before I touch on and break down this actual components of the differences between active practice and passive learning is really of, I, I, I want to talk about a core component that is often just looked past. It, it's ignored. It's not given the importance that it deserves. It's not given um, the attention it deserves because we think of it as a less important thing because we're only wanting to focus on the doing part, which is the habit part, right? What do I got to do? What do I got to do to attain the results that I want or to obtain the life that I want or to have what I want to have? Now, all of that is fundamental. It is important. We've got to adopt habits. We've got to change our habits. We've got to change things that we're doing in life to ultimately be or have the results that we want to have in life. However, before we can get to that state, we first have to establish the belief. Now, why is this ignored? Because it's not necessarily um, so, what, what's the word? So exciting to do, so to speak. Because if today we find ourselves in a place with the life or we're a, a certain type of person that we're not happy with, everything about us typically is linked to believing what our current situation is. And so if I tell you, let's change that belief by believing something different, it's hard for us as humans to comprehend how that works. But I really today just, just want you to be open, want you to receive this information without judging or more importantly, without filtering it through your knowledge or through what you've experienced in life up until today. Because this is a component that even today, still with my experience and living a healthy and active and fit life, I still practice. And that leads into what I mentioned at the beginning, active practice. Our belief is something we need to actively practice practice. Most times we get wrapped up on simply let me inundate myself with information. What do I need to learn? What do I need to do in that is the passive learning. Let me just learn about this. Let me just learn about this. Let me fill myself with information. And we often believe that with that, that is going to lead us to being the person we want to be or to doing the things that we want to do. And that's not true. Belief is important. Why? What we think is going to influence our belief. What we think is going to influence our belief. For example, if I think I'm a failure, if I think I suck, if I think I'm not good enough, if I think I'm not loved, if I think I'm a disgusting looking person, right? If I think any of those things, my belief of self is going to be that. If I think I suck, I'm going to believe that I suck. If I think I'm ugly, disgusting, and, and, and just unhealthy, that is what I'm going to believe about myself. Which then, based on that belief, is going to lead to my actions. It is going to produce actions that I take. The belief is going to drive the behavior that I perform. And why is this so important? Because if our belief isn't the correct belief, if the belief that I have today 
is not the correct belief. It is not in line with who I want or who I desire to be or the life that I desire to have. My actions are never going to be that. That is why if we simply focus on what do I have to do to change my habits, but my belief is not linked, I do not first focus on changing my thoughts, then influence my beliefs, the action piece may work for a certain time because willpower will kick in and yeah, I can do this, I'll do this, I'll do this. We can force ourselves to do this, but after time, it's going gonna, it's gonna to fall. We're going to fall off. It's going to dwindle. So today, I really want to take time and hone in on this belief aspect because I firmly know that this is the driving component that will ensure longevity and will ensure us to get to the place in the life that we want to get to. And remember, that is always evolving. It is always growing. It's always constant. It's not just, okay, I got there. That's it. I don't have to do anything. Because it's life. There is nothing in anything that we do that we can simply say, okay, that's it. I got there. Now I don't want to do anything. If we do have that mindset, then we're, we'll stay stuck in that particular area. And we've seen how things can, can destroy that. Let's look at, for example, Blockbuster. Totally different topic, but let's look at Blockbuster. They thought that was it. They had got to the top. They were the king of rental movies. They were the king of entertainment in the 90s. And they thought, that's it. That, that's all we have to do. We don't have to change. We don't have to evolve. We don't have to do anything. This is it for us. And they ended up losing everything. So I say that to bring us back to the point that we are always constantly needing to grow. So this belief piece is something that we've got to carry with us always. And so the one thing that we want to that I want to start looking at today that that we're going to solely talk about today is we've got to get clear of our belief. We've got to get clear of what we're going to think. What we're going to start to think and what we're going to start believing. And in that, what we're going to do to help us is something that will reinforce this belief. We will be doing things. We will be surrounding ourselves with things that will reinforce this new belief, meaning who we desire to be, the life we desire to have. And then we're going to actively practice that through the things that I'm going to share with you today. Okay, so first we got to get very clear of who we want to be. What life do we want to have? What is this? What does this look like? We really have to take time to, to, to write this out, to make this very clear for ourselves. I've talked about clarity and I've talked about the power of specificity. Getting specific, getting that detailed for you. Type of what type of uh, per, uh, uh of life do you want to have? What type of person you want to be? What 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 does this person do? If he's healthy, if she's healthy, what does that look like? Right? What are the things that this person does? What are the things that this person has? And some of the questions that we can really start looking at is like, think about the person you want to be. Think about the life you want to have and then ask yourself, right? What does their house look like? What does their car look like? What does their room look like? What does their fridge look like? These are just questions that I want you to start pondering on so we can start painting a picture of what this person is, of what this life looks like for you. Because as we get clear with that, then we want to establish the belief of making the choice. First, we, to establish a belief, we have to make the choice that this is who I am. So if you're a healthy person, if, if that's who you want to be, I want to be healthy, I want to be thin, I want to be fit, I want to be active, 
I want to be successful in business. I want to uh, have an increase in my finances. I, whatever that is for you, we have to then believe that. That is going to be our new belief. I am that. I'm making the choice. So, for example, uh, a, a recent one is my wife decided that she was going to be a guitar player. She made the choice for herself. I am a guitar player. Up until then, I mean, she knew very, very little about it. She had a guitar. You could see it back there in the back, right there. Always, I, I tell her to leave it there because it, it makes it seem as if I'm the guitar player. <laughs> but, but my wife is really the guitar player. And she had it there for a long time. When we were dating, she had it. I, I really never saw her play. She'd grab it and play around with it a couple of times. But until she made the choice, it says, I am a guitar player. Up until then, she was becoming a guitar player. But for her, her reality was, I am a guitar player. That was real. That was true for herself. And each day as she said that, as she, as she made the determination and the choice each day that she was a guitar player, her thought, thinking, her belief, I am a guitar player. Before she even grabbed the guitar, it was her choice and her confession and her affirmation daily of saying, I am a guitar player. And based on that belief, it led to actions that have now shown the evidence that she is a guitar player. Is she the guitar player that she wants to be? Not yet. But because she chose to be a guitar player, she made the conscious choice for herself. She made the, the commitment, the determination, the choice for her. There is no other choice. I am a guitar player. She made that conscious choice daily. And she reaffirmed it each day through some of the things that I'm going to share with you today. That then made her, that led her to the action of getting an app that would teach her how to play. And then from there, the consistency of the determination of I am a guitar player, then it led her to, I'm going to practice for five minutes, looking for songs that she could play on that app, learning one chord, learning two chords. That led to her then establishing a specific time that she would be practicing, a set amount of time for five minutes each day. And then that grew to 10 minutes, and then that grew to several times a day. And now it's the constantness that she is actively practicing who she decided to be, a guitar player. And this, my friends, is an example of how we can then start crafting it for ourselves. So we've got to first make the choice because if I continue to think I'm, I'm a stress eater, if I continue to think I'm, I'm, I'm overweight and I'm never going to lose weight, if I continue to think I'm never going to achieve my goals, I'm never going to be able to travel, I'm never going to be able to um, go on this vacation because I'm, 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 I'm physically unable to, if that is what we're thinking, that is what our belief is. So what we've got to do is we've got to change that. We've got to rewire that belief so that in that belief, we can start to develop the actions that we all, that we ultimately desire. And, and the, the, the confusing part or the challenging part for our humanness is that how am I going to change my belief if my reality is telling me that this is the truth? My friends, we have a choice. Our, 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 our body, God made us so incredible that we can literally change our state by changing what we are believing. So, we get there by, again, establishing, who do I want to be? What does this person look like? 
And then a helpful tool for that is to start creating affirmations about this. I am a healthy, fit, strong person. I eat healthy food. I make healthy choices. I work out daily. I don't give in to food indulgence. I don't overeat. I don't give in to sweets. So we establish these affirmations by looking at the things that we want to change, about the negatives about us, right? The things that we don't like. If you're right now unhealthy, unfit, you don't like the way you look, we now take that and we make it into a positive. I love the way I look. I am a thin beautiful person i fit into the clothes that i want to that i want to fit into i am thriving i am energetic so we establish these affirmations and then in this the affirmation is to affirm the truth of now what you are choosing to believe and this is the practice piece that then comes in. We have to actively practice this, meaning we practice it through confession. We speak that because as we speak that, we hear it and then we can affirm, we can confirm, we can uh, establish this truth for you to start believing that. And as we start to believe it, our cells will start to believe it. Our body will start to believe it. Our thoughts will start to believe it. Now, does this mean that you're not going to have thoughts of, yeah, but come on, David, who are you fooling? You're not, you're not really active. You're not really successful. You're not really a good coach. You're never going to fit into that clothes. Those thoughts are going to be there. But specifically in those moments, that is why we establish these affirmations so that we can then shut down these thoughts that are still there based on our current reality and the old person that we've decided to no longer be is going to still be there. It's going to come up. Why? Because that is constant right now. That is your current truth. But we shut it down by establishing the new truth. In that moment, we shut it down and we say, no, I am successful. I am healthy. I make healthy choices. And even if we say, let's say you, 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 you make a choice. Let's say we're believing right now that you are a healthy person that makes healthy food choices. But let's say you find yourself, you went and got some fast food or you made a choice, an unwanted food choice. It doesn't mean that now in this, you're going to be all of a sudden perfect. Now you're not going to make mistakes. Now you're not going to make the choices. No, even when you do in that moment, you continue to establish the truth. You continue to confess the affirmation of who you have decided to be based on what you are now believing. Even when you're making, or even when you're eating that burger, I am a healthy person. I make healthy choices. Why? Because through that active practice, it is repetition, my friends. How do we now establish then the, the habits that we want to have based on the person we are choosing to decide to be? It is through repetition. And the repetition is the active practice. Not how, what information do I need to learn? What more do I need to learn to do? No, 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 no. It's let me practice this belief, this truth that I'm affirming, affirmations, aff affirming the truth, establishing this so that I can now believe it. And as the more I believe it, the more it's real, the more I believe, the more I believe, the more I believe, I then start to make the right choices. I then start to be that person. I then start to now become who I want to become. So I really as as we're 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 breaking this down today i want you to start creating some affirmations for yourself i do have some that if anybody wants drop it there in the comment section uh once this this uh video is over 
and I can send you a list of some examples of some affirmations, but it's very simple. How do I create an affirmation for myself? How do I create a new confession, a new declaration that I want to, to, to have for myself? Is really simple. What areas do you want to change? What things about you aren't you happy with? The negative things that you constantly see, that you constantly think, that you constantly believe about yourself. And then we make them positive. We write the opposite. Again, if you're making unhealthy food choices, maybe you have some food addiction, maybe that might be sugar, maybe you're addicted to overeating, maybe you're a binge eater. I'm no longer a binge eater. I don't overeat. I eat enough. I eat and I stop when I'm satisfied. And then those are the things that we're going to start to confess. Because as again, as we confess, I then now start to believe. It's incredible. And you can look this up. It's incredible the research that's out there that when we speak new truth or when we speak something positive, what it does to our body. Right now, many are stuck in the life that, they are, that they're living simply because they are thinking what they're living. They are believing that as their truth and their actions are in line with that. Many people might ask, well, well just, just give me a nutrition plan. Just give me something so I can do and, and eat. And then if something isn't going right, all of a sudden, now they shut down this belief that what they're doing doesn't work. Therefore, it just magnifies the truth about that. And therefore, it doesn't matter what you do. It is not going to work for you because of the belief that you have now taken for yourself and it's the choice this is who i am this this food that i eat the healthy choices that i make that i make are making me healthy they benefit me they're helping me to release weight they're helping me build muscle i tested this back when i was in 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 pursuing the bodybuilding state there were so many moments for months that I would go to the gym and I would work out hard and I would eat the food and I would literally stand in front of the mirror and say, yeah, this isn't working. This isn't working. This isn't working. And I was stuck in that state. It was true, even though scientifically based on what I was doing, right? Based on the experience that I had, based on what does work, because there are certain things that simply by doing them, they work. However, if my belief is not aligned to, yes, this is good for me. This is, this works. This is impacting me. This is influencing me. This is making me because I am this person. It does, it will not work. And until I didn't change my belief and I started confessing the truth, this, this workout helps me build muscle. This food that I eat is helping me increase the muscle mass in my body. It is helping me get the, the, the body that I desire. It is making me strong. It is making me fit. It is making me who I want to make, who I want to be. Until I didn't make that shift, I was stuck for a long period at a, at a specific body frame and a specific weight. For me in the bodybuilding scene, it was like, how can I increase the, the amount of muscle mass, therefore increasing my weight as much as I can? And I was stuck at about 190, 200 pounds for, I would even say, maybe close to two years. But until I didn't make that shift here in my thought and my belief, aligning both my thoughts and my beliefs, I know how to work out to gain muscle. This movement and thinking every movement that I'm doing, yes, I'm, I'm building muscle. I'm getting stronger. I'm getting stronger. I'm getting stronger. Look, there were moments that I thought, I'm, I'm weak. I'm not going to be able to lift this. And that was true. 
The moment I shifted, I can lift this. This is lightweight. This is nothing for me. I increased my weight in the gym, the amount of pounds that I was able to lift. And as I was able to form my physique, I would say, this body, this muscle, this, this my arms are never going to grow. They're never going to grow. It doesn't matter what I do. Man, they're not growing. Man, they're not growing. And in the moment, maybe they're not. Maybe they're, they are stuck. However, if I can change my belief and now influence and say, with each rep, my arm is growing. With each rep that I do, I am releasing weight. With each rep that I do, I just say this and everything inside of me starts to, 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 to just vibrate. I get goosebumps because my body is now listening and it is believing with me. And until I didn't change that and shift that, I wasn't able to get to the place where I was before I went to the trip to Haiti, right? 240, 245 pounds, I'd never got there. I was always stuck between 200, 210, and I wasn't satisfied. And all of a sudden, I shifted that, changed that. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to build muscle. This food is energizing me. This food is giving me the results that I want. I would speak. I would speak. I would confess. I would confess. I would reaffirm this truth that I have chosen to believe. I got there. When I least expected it, I was like, oh my gosh. I, I stopped weighing myself for some time because that was affecting me psychologically as well. Some, it affects them by them not releasing, and some, it affects by those that want to build. They're not getting the results, right? I forgot about it. I just focused on, I'm going to believe. I'm going to believe, and I'm going to do what I know to do, and I'm going to believe that what I'm doing is going to work. And my actions were in line with that. My actions, the more, the more I believed, the more I did, the more I inundated myself. Being longer, working out stronger, increasing my frequency, which is another thing. When we establish our right belief, we're believing correctly. That is going to produce the action in line with that belief. It's going to automatically lead me to it. But it's also going to increase the frequency in which I do it, which is a, a very important thing that is sometimes looked at, not looked at properly to establish habits. James Clear talks about it very clearly in his book. And, he, and they ask, the question is, how long does it take to form a habit? He says, that's the wrong question to ask. You should be asking, how many times does it take? How many times do I need to do something? How much times do I need to repeat a set habit that I'm, that I'm doing? a set active practice of what I'm doing for it to become a habit. Because the more we do it, when I believe it, the more I do with this new action, I then am able to start to increase the frequency in which I do it, the intensity, the frequency belief state of which I'm doing it. And as that frequency increases, my goodness, let me tell you, it starts to change everything from me just, yeah, I'm walking. They said I should walk 10 minutes. Hmm, this isn't going to work. This isn't going to work for me. Why am I even doing it? This is a waste of time. And I'm walking, but I did it. Okay, day two, here I go. This doesn't work. This isn't going to give me the results that I want. This food that I'm eating, this doesn't do anything for me. This doesn't nourish me. This doesn't influence anything for me. This nutrition plan doesn't work. All right, well, so what? Let me just eat it. Going to the gym, why? Why am I even going? This isn't working for me. It's not giving me the results. 30 days in, six months in, whatever long time it is for you. This doesn't work. I've been doing this for a long time. This doesn't work. Well, the frequency in which you're doing it, nothing about you believes it. Your body doesn't believe it, so why do we think it's going to respond? If you don't believe it, your cells don't believe it. So therefore, it's going to literally give you exactly what you are saying and what you are believing. It's going to give you more of it. It's going to create something within you and within your body to literally shut down and not give you any results. Autoimmune diseases. I learned this from one of my mentors. 
when we are believing negatively, believing about pain, believing that 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 all you deserve deserve is failure, negative, being unloved, being unwanted. Your body literally will say, okay, that's what he's believing. So let's create something within my body, within your body to make that be so. And that's how many diseases are formed. Autoimmune diseases are formed. Now, going back on what I just said, if I decide and I believe me walking 10 minutes, this is going to impact my health. This is going to make me the person that I want. This is making me be act, be healthy, be fit, be, be the person I desire to be. What is that? That's a different frequency, right? That now your body is believing that your cells are saying, okay, all right. Yeah, this is going to work. This food that I'm eating, this choice that I'm making is influencing my health. It's influencing me to be the person that I desire to be. It's influencing me to be that strong, fit, confident man, confident woman, the, 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 the person that I envision, the person that, 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 that I want to be thin and whatever that is for you, your body starts to believe. And I want you to practice, literally practice that. I want you to sit down and I want you to start thinking. Or, when, or, or actually, you can even do it walking. Go out for a walk and say this. Believe this. Start thinking this. This doesn't work. This isn't going to do anything for me. This isn't going to influence anything. This isn't going to change anything for me. And see how you feel. See what that does to you. See what your body responds. How your body responds to that. Then, I want you to start thinking and believing. As I walk, I'm releasing weight. As I walk, I'm getting stronger. As I walk, I'm changing who I am. I'm being healthy. I'm becoming healthy. I am healthy as I do this and see what that does to your state. See how your body responds to that. My friends, I'm telling you, if you can grasp this truth that I'm speaking to you, you will see a significant influence and change. And it's not about thinking, well, how long is this going to take? How long do I have to do? Screw it. We're in it. We're in, we're committed for this. We're committed into this life. We're committed into this journey. There is no looking back. There is no second guessing. There is no, but what if it doesn't work? But what if this isn't working? But, but how long is it going to take? How long do I have to do that? Screw that crap. That is irrelevant. We take that out and we just focus on believing. This is who I am, making a commitment. I am this person. We speak and re reaffirm this truth by speaking it. I'm believing it. The more I can believe it, then that's going to lead me to the actions that I want, to the right actions. That in those actions, then it will start to manifest the one, the life, the person you want to be. So that's one piece. I want you to really start crafting that. And I'll, and I'll, and I'll, as, as I close, I'll, I'll kind of give a little summary just to remind you all about it, all of these things. And then the second thing that we want to look at is surrounding ourselves with reminders or putting reminders everywhere we can. What are reminders? Well, things that remind us of who we have chosen to believe we are. Of this new life that we've decided to have. Which is why when I talk about affirmations, I highly recommend you write down those affirmations. And in that, next to those affirmations, you can even put a picture of what that might be, what that might look like for you. Put it in the restroom. As soon as you wake up in the morning, once you do your business, in the restroom right there, looking at yourself in the mirror, you confess it. You speak those. You affirm those at the peak, at the beginning start of your day. When I wake up, 
out of my bed. I'm already speaking those suckers. I'm already speaking. I'm strong. I am healthy. I am fit. I am a great coach. I am going to help people today. I am all of the truths that are for me. And even as I'm doing my business in the restroom, as I'm brushing my teeth, as I'm getting ready to take a shower, whatever that is, I am speaking. I am speaking. Why? Because I've been doing it for so long. They're already embedded in me. And then I add, or sometimes I change things, right? Whatever is true and relevant for me in the moment. So I put a reminder there. This is, this is me. This is, this is my new identity. This is the new person that I am. In your room, surround yourself with reminders. You can put pictures around you everywhere you can. So that when you look at it, mm, you're reminded that is who I am. That I'm a strong, confident, successful person. Maybe you want to be a speaker. Get a picture of, of, of a conference room filled with people. Put your picture on there. Put your face on there as the speaker. When you walk by it, mm, I'm a speaker. I get opportunities to speak. I speak at conventions. I help a lot of people. That becomes your reality. Therefore, then things that you want, are you're just now going to be aligned to that. And you're going to be constantly taking action. That, how can I find that? How can I find? How can I find? How can I find? And before you know it, most of the times, which I just it just happens. Don't ask me how. It just happens. Uh, opportunities start to come, come to you that give you that. Why? Because I've been believing that. It's become real for me. And it's no mystical thing here, okay? I'm not saying, oh, just simply think it and it'll happen and manifest. No, 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 no. We are liter literally confessing it and speaking it to existence. I am speaking it out and I am confessing this and I am manifesting this truth for me. How? In the form that also, as I speak it, I'm literally now taking the actions to make that come true for me. So we want to surround ourselves with reminders. If say, even now let's go into some of the practical sense of like, maybe you want to start going to the gym, right? Or maybe you want to start walking more. Okay. If that, let's say you want to walk first thing in the morning. Well, when we wake up, if your bed's here out of bed, you, you have your, your shoes there. You have your, exercise there, your exercise equipment there, sorry, your shorts, your shirt, whatever that is, it's now reminding you of who you are. It's reminding you, got to go to go for a walk. You're an active person. Let's go. So you see that. And now that gives you the impulse. One, believe, yeah, I'm an active person. I walk every morning. I walk for 10 minutes. I walk for whatever that is, which the key is let's make it easy, right? That is how we start to get into this, this, this state of being able to, to achieve this. And so you put it on and then you go for a walk, right? Surround yourself with posters of healthy people, of fit people. Look, I just had, I just had this thought. Remember when we were kids and in your room, what does a kid's room look like? Typically, they have posters of their fans, of people that they like, of their favorite video game, of the wrestler. For me as an athlete, I was looking at them last night. I would collect baseball cards, and I would put these baseball cards around me. I would put footballs in my room. I would put a bunch of different sports memorabilia around in my room. It was like walking into one of these sports stores. I had figurines. I had, I had stuffed, uh, stuffed animals uh, or stuffed footballs that were stuffed animals. I don't know what you would call them, but stuffed footballs everywhere. I'd have cowboy memorabilia. Yeah. Sorry. I'm a Cowboys fan. Not ashamed of it though. And I'd have, uh, basketball things around and all of that. It was reminding me I'm an athlete. This is who I am. So much so that I became, you know, one of the youngest players to play varsity football. And I was really good. 
one of the fast of one of the top five fast athletes in, in my class who had a bunch of scholarship opportunities. That was true for me, right? So that is how we now start to remind ourselves to affirm, to, to, to establish that as your truth. This is extremely important, my friends. Like I, I, I really, everything inside of me wants you to really comprehend and understand this. Oftentimes we just, we, we look past this. Okay, yeah, yeah, I created a vision board. Okay, yeah, I have a list of affirmations, but like we're not actively, actively practicing that. We're not actively practicing that. actively practicing that these these affirmations these confessions that I'm declaring about who I am about what I've decided to believe how often are we doing them are we actively practicing or are we just passively learning this information and like yeah okay I know that already I've listened to that already no 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 active practice active practice Practice, active practice, speak. And what, what I want you to start actively practicing is speaking your truth, affirming your truth through the affirmations, confessing your new belief, especially when your thought says, yeah, that's not true. Come on, David. Like sometimes for me, it's, yeah, you're skinny. You're never going to gain the muscle again. You're never going to be, you're never going to look like you want to look. I shut it down. Yes, that might be true right now. But that's not what I'm believing. Believing I will have the muscle. I am strong. I am, I'm no longer, I don't have issues in my body. I don't have issues. How was I able to overcome these issues with my nerves and the cervical stenosis and all of these muscle things that were going on with me, I made a choice. And, and I had a conversation uh, with, with Chrissy, who is, uh, is, a, is a great friend now, but she was um, still is a, a therapist of mine and a amazing mentor for me in, in the physical sense of like uh, kinesiology and, and, um, and, um, physiologic phy, the physiological aspects of my body as a um, physical therapist when I was when when we were actively in in our um, therapy sessions I would tell her no I'm not uh, I'm not accepting this I'm not accepting this shoulder issue I'm not accepting this neck issue I'm not accepting this nerve issue and in the moments where everything in me wanted to quit, no, no, I, I'm not accepting that. I'm not quitting. I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to get back to who I, how, who I was and even better. I am going to overcome this situation. My belief, and I would speak it, and I would speak it. There were moments where I just, I, 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 the thoughts were overcoming me of like, yeah, this is never going to change. Yeah, this is never going to change. But it's coming back to reminding myself of what I've chosen to believe. No, I am going to overcome this. No, I don't have cervical stenosis. No, I don't have nerve pain. No, I don't have these issues in my shoulder. And we look back at this four-year battle. I no longer have neck pain. I can sleep great at night. I have, look, I can show you. I've got so much, had so many so much medication that the doctor wanted me to take. And there's many more. You got to take, you got to take this one for your nerves. You got to take this one for muscle pain. You got to take this one for, an, for more pain. And now I don't take it. Because I chose to believe, no, that is not who I am. 
That is not the person that I'm choosing to be, to be. That is not my identity. That is not who I am. I don't care what my truth says. I am choosing to believe that I am a strong, healthy person with no neck pain, with no nerve pain, with no muscle, muscle limitations, with no restrictions, with no mobility limitations before I couldn't even do this movement without having shooting pain down into my ulnar's nerve. But it's through the constant repetition and the reminders that I put around me, reminding me I am this person. So as I close, my friends, I didn't bring on any questions this week. I really wanted to take time to to talk about this and break this down because I think it's extremely important that if we can grasp this, look, we can overcome food disorders. We can overcome um, issues of health. We can overcome self-destructive thoughts that are keeping us stuck in this reality. It's all about what are we believing? What are we choosing to believe true for us today because we can change we can rewire our brain we can rewire ourselves we can rewire and change us the makeup of us by our beliefs and what we are choosing to believe There's a famous quote that says, whether you think you're right or whether you think you're wrong, you're right. So whether you think you're healthy or whether you think you're unhealthy, you're right. And I really desire this to be true for you. So as I close, just to summarize, what are we thinking? What are we believing? Based on that is what actions we're going to take. So if we're thinking, I suck. I'm a failure. I'm never going to I'm never going to achieve my goal. I'm never going to have this company. I'm never going to release weight. I'm never going to be thin. I'm never going to be um a speaker. I'm never going to be a competitive athlete. You're going to believe that. And your actions are going to literally take you to make that true for you. To manifest that as your truth. So if we can change that, meaning I'm going to choose to believe this about me. I'm strong. I'm healthy. I am an athlete that competes. I am a speaker. I am a successful business owner. I am healthy, strong, fit, excuse me, active, thin, whatever that is for you. I'm going to confess it. We do that. How? Let's establish affirmations. Declarations. Things that you can confess that reaffirm the truth that you have decided to believe. In that, as you speak that, you start to believe it. That is the key. We've got to speak it. Active practice. We talked about active practicing. And that is the one thing I want you to start actively practicing. Speak it. Speak it, especially in the moment when you're doing the opposite. We talked about the burger example. If your confession is, I eat healthy, I make healthy choices, but you're eating this burger, speak it in that moment. Speak it in that moment. It doesn't matter because in that moment, we're speaking, no, 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 I, I don't do this anymore. We then start to believe it. Everything inside of us starts to believe it. Then the actions will happen. It'll lead us to the right actions that we do want to start making. Making right food choices, eating healthy, right? Which will then ultimately give us all of the results that we want. The result of being healthy. The result of being thin. The result of being the person and having the life that you desire to have. And then surround yourself with reminders of who you are. Posters, pictures, 
affirmations in the restroom with pictures that you can speak, everything around you. If it's health, surround yourself with health. Asking yourself, well, well, how does this, how does the house, how does the house look like of this person? And then go and make your house that way. Does a healthy person live with clutter? Does a healthy person live in 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 have have a mess in the house? Does a healthy person live with with these foods in the fridge? No, then let's go. Let's let's create this environment that will remind you of who you are, of your new truth. If you want to be a gym rat, heck, put gym stuff all over your house. Buy weights. Put them all around you. Surround yourself with that environment. Go get a membership at a gym and stay there for hours. Make friends with people that are in the gym. Surround your environment with reminders that are reminding you of who you now are. So active practice. Practice, 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 repetition. As I believe and I repeat that belief, that's going to lead me to the right actions, to the right choices. And then that increases the frequency in which I'm doing something. And then next week, I really want to talk about now as we have start to establish this belief, then now how do we start to really create these habits for ourselves? Right. And then just to close, remind you of the exercise, put this to test, go for a walk and think walking sucks. This doesn't work for me. This isn't going to give me results. This isn't going to make me lose, uh, release the weight that I want. This is, doesn't help me build muscles. It doesn't give me energy. This is a waste of time. See what that does. And then shake it off and then now walk and speak. This is helping me. This gives me results. This helps me release weight. This is making me stronger, more energetic. I just doing that and I'm feeling everything in my body just come to life. Experience that for yourself and let me know how that went. Drop in the comments there. If you do do this exercise, how did that feel? What did that do for you? Drop in the comment section and let's, let's, let's share this exciting topic with people. If you know of somebody that would like to be a part of this community, share with them every Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Share this information, uh, share the link with them, let them join, let them listen, and they can also be a part of this. So thank you so much for tuning in. This is a free Friday training. Know that uh, the replays, if you're not able to make it live, I'm starting to upload them to the, my YouTube channel. Go check them out. They're under free Friday trainings. You can find it in the playlist or you can find it even in just the video feeds there on my YouTube channel. Look, I'm here for you. If you have any questions, you want me to answer questions for you here live on the free Friday trainings, I would love to do that. Send me your questions to david at davidhernandez.co, david at davidhernandez.co. And if you want to know how I can support you, maybe you have some issues that you want to overcome in terms of your health, in terms of weight, in terms of just your overall life performance, I'd love to connect with you. Let's set up a conversation. You can reach me on my website, www.davidhernandez.co, davidhernandez.co. There you can book a call and let's have a conversation. My friends, as always, I love you. You are incredible. Remember that and uh, go out, crush it, and live your best life. I'll see you next week here on the Free Friday Training. Peace.